Hey everyone, my name is Joel. I'm a senior facilitator for customer programs here at Service Titan, and welcome to another installment of TAD TuneUp, where we look at setting up and using Titan Advisor features. Today, we'll be looking at a feature called Send Online Estimates to Your Customers. And you can find this feature, if I go ahead and share my screen, you can find this feature in Titan Advisor, so that rocket ship top right hand of your screen. And we're going to go down into job booking and dispatching underneath the business sections. And then over to acceleration, where you should see it either on the left or the right hand side of your screen. We're looking for send online estimates to your customers. And completing this feature accomplishes two different things. First, it gives your customers an easier way to sign and accept an estimate. And secondly, offering online estimates helps you capture sales your technicians may have failed to convert, which boosts your close rates as well as your revenue. And a use case would be if the decision maker wasn't really around when the estimate was being presented, you can use an online estimate that the customer can review with the, what, with the decision maker and sign at their convenience. So that's what we're looking at. That's why we want to use this. Obviously, this thing this specific feature drives revenue, and it also provides an exceptional service. It's a good thing to get a nice estimate from your uh, from your technician. So before we dive into anything over here, there's um, we're going to have to talk through sold threshold, and we're going to have to talk through open opportunities. So when we're talking through sold threshold, if you've been in one of my groups, you know when we talk about sold threshold, we're talking about job types. And we can always tell how important sold threshold is because what your sold threshold does is it tells Service Titan whether or not the technician actually converted the job. So if they, for example, if I'm in my job types, I'm in this clogged drain job type, if this sold threshold is $100, that means that my dispatch fee is likely $99. So if my technician, if my technician goes out to your home and only charges you the, the dispatch fee, I know that they didn't actually convert the job. If they go out to your home and they charge you the dispatch fee or they waive the dispatch fee and charge more than $100 for whatever service that they, whatever service they offer you, I know that they converted that job. So this tells us whether or not jobs have been converted in Service Titan. So it's going to be an important thing when we talk about the rest of this feature because we're looking at items that are below the sold threshold. And we'll talk about that when we talk about the feature. The next thing that we'll have to talk about is open opportunities. So open opportunities, if we go into our follow-up screen on our top navigation bar, there's three different main statuses for opportunities. One is the opportunity has been won, aka we've sold an estimate from that opportunity. Two is an opportunity has been dismissed. That means that we've called the customer and the customer said, hey, we're moving forward in a different direction. We don't, we aren't interested in moving forward with your company. We don't wanna do the work right now. We found someone else to do it. Whatever the reason is, they're not using you. So instead of contacting your, instead of contacting that customer again, we can just go ahead and dismiss that opportunity. And then the last status for opportunities are open opportunities. Now, open opportunities have a few different substatuses. We have not attempted, meaning we haven't reached out to the customer yet. We have unreachable, which means that we've tried to reach out to the customer and they haven't, they haven't answered. And then we've contacted the customer. Hey, we've contacted them. We just haven't actually sold the job yet. So that opportunity, the open opportunity is what going is what a unsold estimate is going to automatically convert to. So we're looking at open opportunities. So let's get back into the feature and let's talk about a few different things. So first is we've got to add this online estimate placeholder and we can find that in our settings. And our success criteria here is the email estimate template includes the online estimate link placeholder. So let's go over to our settings. We're going to go into settings, email. It's going to be under invoicing and email. And here is where you can set your email settings. And these are going to be templates that you can use for different documents that you can send to your customer. So it'll plop you into this invoice one, but you can also see estimates, projects, statements, forms, e-sign, and also documents. So if you send like a form to your customer, you can do that 
that's what's going to, that's going to be the email template for it. But let's go over to the estimate template. You could choose who this email comes from. You could BCC this to people in your company if you want to. You can include this online link expiration. Um, you could resend the estimate if the estimate hasn't been accepted every five days, 10 days, 20 days, you can add a custom one. Maybe we do this every two days and we decide to resend out this estimate every two days. And then we can create the subject and body of the email. Now you'll see all these different placeholders down here. So we can kind of customize this email based off of how we want the email to arrive to your customer, right? So hello, customer name. This is gonna pull the customer name. Please find the estimate number with the estimate actual number. It'll pull from the estimate for the specific sort of location from the business unit name. So all these different things pull from different areas of service Titan. Um, the, the easiest way to figure this out is that first word or the first like two words is where that thing is gonna pull from. So this will pull from the customer, the business unit, the estimate, the service location. And then what Titan Advisor is asking us is for this online estimate link to be included in the email. So we've got this online estimate link included in the email. And so we should be good. Now you can see what a preview of this email looks like down below. Um, and then you'll be able to, you're not gonna be able to actually click on this, but your, your customers will be able to click on this when you actually send out that estimate to your customers. And when this looks good, you can go ahead and click save to save this out. Let's jump back over to Titan Advisor. And we've talked about the online estimate link placeholder that's gonna be in the email estimate template. We've talked through the email estimate template. We talked through the online estimate link placeholder. Now let's actually create an alert for sold estimates or for estimates sold online. So our success criteria here is the customer signed online estimate alert is set with estimates creator selected or at least one name in the recipient's field. So what happens is we wanna make sure that when the estimate gets sold, someone gets notified. So let's go back to our settings and we'll go to our alerts. And we're looking for alerts underneath integrations, not the dispatch board one. And we're looking for, we'll click add. And we're looking for a customer signed online estimate. And we can include the estimates creator. So this, this is kind of a good use case for uh, if you have a comfort advisor or a sales tech or someone who's in charge of like actually selling the estimate, the estimate creator will get notified. And you could also choose other people at your company too. Joel, Cena, Ashley, Megan, Tim, whoever want you want to get a notification by email and text messages, by email and a text that the estimate was actually sold or the customer signed the online estimate, meaning that the estimate has been sold. You can also filter these through the applicable filters down here, and then you'll just go ahead and save this out. Now let's jump back over to Titan Advisor. And so let's see this last one. So what we're looking for is we wanna email estimates for open opportunities. And what we're measuring here is the percent of jobs under the sold thresholds, so we just talked about sold threshold a little bit earlier, completed in the last 30 days with an open opportunity where an estimate was emailed to the customer. So all of all of our jobs in the last 30 days that were underneath that sold threshold, so we had a completed job and I had a sold threshold of $100, that means that we're looking for sold thresholds under $99, at least for that one job type. Percent of jobs under the sold threshold in the last 30 days with an open opportunity. So I've presented an estimate, I've tried, I've tried to sell an estimate, wasn't able to, and we're looking for all those where an estimate was emailed to the customer. So if you do this over 60% of the time, you will get four points for this one. And that is how you email estimates for open opportunities to your customer. Hopefully this was helpful. Let us know if you have any questions. Let us know what you think. Otherwise, hope to see you soon. Thanks.